had a really good cardio session and I was thinking about anger. I was thinking about how I use cardio as a medicine, as a way to express emotions that I've kept inside. And one of those is anger. And I'd like to share with you what you can do to work through any lingering anger that you hold inside. We're talking about what you might have heard as, as uh, warm anger, hot anger, like fire. There's hot anger and cold anger and whatever. Uh, a hot anger is something that controls you. A cold anger is something like righteous fury. <laughs> like you have the sword to cure injustice. And that cold fury will burn in you until that injustice is solved. That is not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about the flare-up of an angry emotion that usually comes about when one feels slighted, insulted, or wronged. And the aftermath of that, where your mind will keep returning to that state of being. It will keep returning to that frustrated angry state until you express that emotion. I'll, I'll explain more. First things first. You need to make a date with yourself. You need to set aside an hour of time when you can get on an elliptical or go swimming or a, a stationary bike or a real bike or go running. You need an hour. But Luke... I don't have time for an hour. Well, how can people just make up time for these things? I'm a busy person. Okay, fair, fair. You make dates with your friends a week in advance, many weeks in advance. Hey, we'll meet Saturday. We'll go out for lunch. You're willing to make time for social gatherings. Why aren't you willing to manage your mental health? Why aren't you willing to make a date with yourself to take care of yourself? So you could live a better life. Don't make excuses with this. Really? Set some time in advance. It doesn't matter if it's a few weeks out. Just set a date with yourself. Give yourself an hour. I like ellipticals. They're easy on the joints. We'll come, out, uh, we'll come to why here in just a second. When you experience anger, you're, you're very frustrated with something. It is important that you first acknowledge that anger is natural. The same way crying is natural. Or happiness, smiling. All of these, all these different reactions, all of the different emotions, anger is natural. Children get angry. You will experience anger at some point in your life. It's okay to experience anger. It's not okay to express that and hurt others, damage property, cause further problems. But the first step to dealing with any of this is to admit that anger is natural. It's going to, to be experienced. The same way I have hands, I experience and will experience again, anger. Okay? It's just a part of who I am and part of the human experience. Once you can admit this, we can start to understand it. We can start to understand how to handle being angry. I think of it like, uh, we were talking about hot anger earlier. I think of it like fire. You wouldn't treat yourself in a way, you wouldn't see a fire and think I'm gonna put it in a box and just hold on to it. You know, I'll just contain it in a jar and ignore it, set it to the side. A fire can't be contained like that. It can be smothered and put out, but that's, that's a different kind of metaphor. You're not going to be able to take that anger and just ignore it, move it aside, forget about it. You can turn away from a fire, but if you keep your back to it long enough, it'll burn the whole forest down. Remember that. The point in bringing up this kind of metaphor is that it's something that has to be dealt with. And... I really, really like dynamic meditation. I really like this idea that your emotions 
are a part of you, they're a part of your body, and they are in your central nervous system. If you suppress them down, they will stick with you for a very long time. We all know someone who bottles up their emotions. I do this. I do this a lot. What you're doing when you say that, when you bottle up an emotion, you're stuffing that emotion down into your central nervous system. You're like, hold on to this. Hold on to it. I'll deal with it later. Whether you actually intend to fulfill that promise, will you deal with it later? Maybe. That's why you're setting a date with yourself. So you can deal with this. So you can work through it. That's essentially what you're doing is taking a fire and putting it in, I think it's a very flammable box and you're just setting it in the attic. You're like, okay, I'll do deal with this frustration later. There's no way a fire in the attic would cause problems. Later, you might find yourself returning to negative thinking patterns, thinking about the thing that caused you frustration, that caused you to feel angry. What, what put that in motion? Okay, the point of, of trying to figure out where it started is to eventually loop it around and take responsibility for it. So think about where you get angry in life. Think about what it is that, that triggers you, that sets you off. What is frustrating to you? What do you, when you're going through your day, what makes you curse? I know that, that sounds silly, like you get cut off in traffic, you're like, ah, this beep beep, right? But that, that's a very small version of what we're talking about. Think of some way you feel disrespected. And if your mind keeps returning to that, maybe you have some anger you need to work through. And that's okay. Remember, anger's natural. It's a natural emotion. But we're not, we're not trained with how to deal with anger. We're told growing up a lot of the times, it's just like, hey, stop that. Do something else. Like, like don't, don't hit each other, which is good advice. That's good. Don't be angry. Just stop being angry. Just do this thing instead. <laughs> Just get back to playing. <laughs> like we, we're never taught with how to deal with these very, very aggressive emotions. And so one way that works for me is set that date of time with yourself and then go get on that elliptical. And what you're going to do is take that hour and you're going to push your cardiovascular system to its limit for as long as you need to. Take the time that, you're, that your mind is returning to, the time that it's, it's frustrated with, whatever it was that set off the steps that led to anger. Get on the elliptical, start running, start moving as, as hard as you can and focus on that, uh, that triggering event. Focus on whatever conversation set you off. Focus on how that little person insulted you. Whatever it is. Whatever's got you bothered, you need to focus on that thing because that, how do you say, like, when you're, when you're gonna dig a well, right? You go to where you, you think there's water. You, you go to where maybe you've done some kind of surveying and you know where to dig. But that place in your mind that keeps coming up and keeps causing you frustration, that's where you need to dig your well. That's where you need to focus. And so while you're doing your cardio, focus on that thing that bothers you. Have those conversations in your head. Have that imaginary conversation where you're yelling at the person who bothered you. Where you're expressing the frustration that you felt which led you to anger. Like I said, the emotion being stored, being bottled up, it's stored in your nervous system. You have to take your nervous system and express whatever it is. In this case, anger. What does anger look like? What does it feel like? Feel it now. And express it into the elliptical. Because it can handle it. If you express your anger towards other people, you will hurt that relationship and possibly hurt them. 
Don't do that. It doesn't help anything. You don't want to express your anger in a way that hurts yourself. You don't want to express your anger in a way that damages property, whether it's yours or others. But if you go and express it on an elliptical, now you're helping your cardiovascular health. Health, excuse me. Now you're improving as a person while also dealing with whatever caused the problem. Mentally, I don't know. I don't know the, the steps you could take to work through whatever problem it is because everyone is angry about something different. Everyone is triggered by something different. So what angers me might not anger you. For me, I have to focus on what it is that bothered me. I have to focus on why does my mind keep coming back to this thing? Why am I letting this person rent space in my head? Why am I frustrated at this event or person and, and just beating myself up for that? Because if, if I'm frustrated with someone and I'm thinking nasty thoughts about them, it's the same as taking poison and hoping they get sick. It's not doing you any good. You're beating yourself up. And it won't lead anywhere except to self-destruction. So use that self-destruction. Make the date. Go run. Improve yourself while you work through it. I say give yourself an hour. Because it's about after 10 minutes. You get warmed up. Your body's looser. You're more in tune with the pace of how you're, how you're running, swimming, on the elliptical, whatever. I find that my body reaches a place where I don't even feel like I'm breathing anymore. I'm, I'm moving very quickly. I'm on in a resistance level that normally is very uh, difficult to work through. But the exercise itself is more of a tool. It's an aid to help express this frustrating emotion that is built up and stored in the nervous system. You're exerting yourself physically while thinking about the thing that bothered you. One might say, and I think like it's, it's in the definition, your brain is part of your central nervous system. So you're thinking, you're using your brain, you're thinking about the thing. You're, with your thoughts, expressing what's pissing you off. Physically, you're putting all that anger into cardio. You're putting all that anger into a physical activity and getting it out. Some people get angry. They punch things, right? Everyone knows of, of stories of violent anger. What's an elliptical do? You're moving like this. This could be different for everyone, right? Maybe you need a punching bag, maybe, and you kick it. <laughs> maybe you have to do 4,000 crunches. Whatever it is, you need to sit with and feel that anger and express it physically. Get it out. You're having those conversations in your head so you can actually say the thing that you bottled up and kept inside. So now you have this thing that needs to be let out and, you, and it never gets let out and you're, you're stuck. Open it up. Release it. And you're doing it in a way that helps you grow and is non-destructive for yourself and others around you. That's what works for me. It has helped me so much on my journey because I'm an angry person. For whatever reason, and we can delve into that more in later videos, I can be very angry. And my initial reaction to that is to bottle it up, to put it inside and squelch it down and not deal with it. And then as I do that, I get on this cycle of self-destructive thinking. I can't focus on creativity, on productivity, on anything I want to do because I'm thinking about whatever it is I'm angry about. The bottled up anger leads to something akin to hatred. You don't need to torture yourself that way. Free your heart from hatred and do that by expressing your anger. In the ways we described, please don't go hit someone. Please. <laughs> do it in a healthy way. Mm. The ultimate point to all this is that while you're angry, you're the one with the problem. 
you're the one torturing yourself, mentally beating up whatever situation or person angered you. But they don't feel any of that beating. Only you do. You're hurting yourself. And the more you think about it, the more addicted you are to that kind of self-lashing, that kind of self-abuse. You don't deserve that. You could live a much better life. You could treat yourself so much better. You don't need to stay in that cycle of self-destruction. Ultimately, you're the one with the problem. I'm the one with the problem. I'm letting the anger eat me. Until I set a date for myself, and I'm pointing at the gym, by the way. I mean, I set a date with myself, and I go run. I go enjoy some cardio. And as long as my mind wants to return to that thing that frustrated me, I know I've got to run harder. Because if I have energy to hate something, then I've got energy to keep running. Afterwards, I realize I'm not angry with them or the situation or myself. Afterwards, I have freed myself of those negative thinking patterns because I let them go. I expressed them and moved on. Everyone can do like I do. Everyone can use this. You have to find the method of expression that works best for you. Maybe it's not running. That's fine. Maybe it's standing in a room and yelling and shaking a pillow around. That's fine. Express it and free yourself of that hatred, okay? And I used hatred and anger kind of, kind of uh, intermingled in that. I use it as you will. I think one leads to another. Hopefully this finds you well. Hopefully it's useful to you. And thank you so much for your time and watching. Have a great day. And if I may.